But one of the things um, that you really could benefit from is finding um, capital relationships and other synergy relationships that can be conducive to or um, um, can multiply the impact of the uh, of the relationships that you have and the capital that you gain. So, for example, uh, the concept of smart money. You may hear that bantied around. Well, smart money is not just smart in the sense that the people that have it are smart. It's smart in the sense that if you go after it, they can help make connections for you. For example, if you raise a bunch of capital from some venture capitalists, uh, you want to try to choose the venture capitalists that have the kinds of connections that can make introductions for you um, to other companies that you can have synergistic relationships with. And you do want to plan an exit strategy, but let's talk about exit strategies. You're going to hear a lot of people um, ask, what's your exit strategy? And you have to be very careful to realize that first and foremost, there is no such thing as an exit strategy without profitability. Um, you know, there are really only three ways that you exit um, from a company. Number one is you sell your business to somebody that wants to buy the business. Number two, and least likely to happen, is that you do an IPO, which effectively is selling your business to the public at large, but you get to continue to run the business. The third and most likely scenario is that your exit strategy is you never exit. You run the business profitably with positive cash flow and just use that as a tool to realize your dreams. I mean, why do you want to sell the business? To gain um, dramatic equity appreciation, to cash out, to have a bunch of cash. Well, if the business is positive cash flowing, then you may not even want or need to sell the business to enjoy the benefit that you were looking for. You do have to have a management structure in place that can run it so that you can play if that's what your goal was. But um, none of the other exit strategies are going to exist if you don't have a strong positive cash flow. You'll, you'll actually, over time, hear a lot of people say that they're going to build it and sell it to somebody big, like Google or Yahoo or um, Federal Express or you know, AT&T or something like that especially in the technology world, but in a lot of other places too. If you're a toy manufacturer or you're building some sort of a toy, you're going to, oh, we're, our exit strategy is to get Mattel to buy it from us. The reality is those kinds of deals don't happen very often. And if you're trying to raise capital and that is the exit strategy you go forth with, oh, we're going to get Google to buy us, or we're going to get Mattel, Mattel to invest in it or buy us. Most investors are savvy enough to know that that's extremely unlikely and that will immediately cause them to question the degree to which you're really understanding the dynamics of the industry that you're in. So financing a business is uh, starts with casting a wide net and first and foremost um, you know you're going to start with what resources that you have but then you're going to talk to everybody you know and the reality is is that a lot of people that you know know money. They know other people with money. But you've never had that conversation before, so you don't know who they know. The best way to raise capital is not to say, hey, I've got a deal I'd like you to invest in. Can I come show it to you? It's to have a conversation that starts along the lines of, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to raise some money, and I haven't really started presenting this to anybody yet. And before I do, I respect your opinion. And if you don't mind, could I get you to take a look at this and I'd, I'd really like you to give me feedback on whether or not I've thought of everything. If, if there's some major major holes or missing parts or anything that you can see, you can tell me before I start showing this around to other people. Um, that'll take the burden off of them of thinking that you're making a sales pitch to them. And quite honestly, if it's a good deal, they'll bro broach the subject with you. They'll say, well, you know, I don't think you've done a bad job. I think it's pretty good. In fact, I'm kind of interested myself. Um, let's talk. They will bring it up. You don't have to go say, hey, I need to raise money from you. Um, will you invest in my deal? Can I show it to you? Ask them for their guidance and their feedback and then accept it. You know, And if they're not interested, don't say, well, would you like to buy some of it? I mean, it doesn't hurt to ask, but, but my point is, is your, a lot of your sales process, especially early on, is you're looking for feedback from other people. Then you gradually get more focused on